Hello, and welcome to our O365 video on formatting. Super simple skills here. Um, the first few skills are going to be just to make the sheets more aesthetically pleasing. And then we're going to discuss some formatting options that will become important when we want to run calculations against our data or when we want to run formulas against our data. Here we have a grade distribution sheet. Uh, we have two sheets at the bottom. The first formatting we're going to talk about is formatting just the color of these sheets. We're going to right mouse click on the grades sheet and we're going to change the tab color to blue. We're going to right mouse click on the data for grade distribution sheet and change our color to orange. Now, again, this is just visually pleasing for the eye. What we've noticed is our end users start to refer to these as the blue sheet or the orange sheet instead of the names. Something simple and easy for them to use. Inside of the sheet, we still have all of our formatting options under the home option. We can go to the font. We can change the font name, the font size, bold, italics, underline, double underline, or strike through. And we can test this here. Highlight our top row, change our font size to 14, change our font style to anything, Corbell and we've now changed our font. This is, again, things just for our eyes, just to make this easier to read, make something stand out. What we can do then is start talking about formatting the data within this. Sh so we have a graduation date here for our end users. We can highlight the entire column, clicking letter D, right mouse click, and click number format. This is where Excel is going to show us all of our formatting options. And for today, we're only going to show you a few of these. The key here is that you now know where your formatting options are. But I want to take a minute to look at all of the different options here. We can format it for a specific number. We can have control if those numbers are negative. If we have decimal places, how many decimal places? If we want it to be currency, um, we can change the currency. And you can notice here, you can change to essentially any currency in the world. Even Bitcoin is in here now. There's accounting options, date and time options, percentages, fractions, scientific, special, anything customization that you want. All of these different formatting options you can do. As you get more advanced with Microsoft Excel and you start using dates and times, you may need to use the custom formatting. Um, the date and time can be a little tricky, especially time, but that's for a, a later video. So in this situation, we have a date. So let's click the date tab. And let's just say that we want to have it actually spell out the month, the day, and the year. We click OK. And it updates everything instead of 5-1-2022 or 2023 or 2024 or 2025. It says May 1st. And again, that's just a formatting option that we can see. In our score column, we have student scores. If we right mouse click on this, and do number formatting, we can find the percentage option. And in this case, uh, if we're rounding, because we're a kind instructor, we're going to say, let's see out to the four decimal points in case we want to round the student score up. We say OK. And it adds this number here for us and gives us you know, their, their percentage score. The thing that I want to caution you about and be advised here is that inside of Excel, the number actually is point three zero six seven eight four it's just viewing it as thirty point six seven eight four percent that's important when you start running formulas and if commands to understand that it's not actually multiplying or using the number thirty point six seven eight four it's using point three zero six seven eight four but that's again for a later video so our formatting options, super simple. If we want to format the font uh, under the home ribbon and all of our font options, if we need to format the text, highlight the text we want to format, right mouse click on it, number format, and you can change the formatting in here to meet your needs. Thank you very much.